Hello, respected brothers and sisters. Dr. Shabir Ahmad is back with you with the barbaric blasphemy law. And I still remember that courageous man who gave his life for the truth. Governor Punjab, Salman Tasir, Shaheed. I will say what he has said. Let the mullahs be infuriated. The barbaric law of blasphemy in Pakistan is a black law. Kala Qanun hai ye. Shame on those lawyers who showered rose petals on that criminal mullah, Malik Mumtaz. Hussain Qadri, the pot bellied, one foot long bearded goat. My God, I wanted to say something more about him, but enough. I won't show much hatred, although I am not at all happy with the situation. The great scholar of Pakistan, the man of reason, whom I mentioned in the last video, is our Honorable Dr. Javed Ahmad Ghamadi. He is in Dubai. These days been forced to leave the country. The Mullah power in Pakistan was never so strong as it is today. They have converted the whole country into a prison. Uh, everyone is fearing for their life. They are People of Pakistan are afraid to say the truth. They cannot even say that they disagree with the, the constitutional amendment which the criminal President Mullah Ziaul Haq made in the 1980s. Well, I have the courage. I, I will say it as my respected friend, Dr. Asarul Islam Sayyid of California has said, I call him the canon of the Qur'an. May Allah bless him and bless you all who are listening to me and watching me. So we don't have much time. I'll have to move a little fast. Kindly remember, my dear Muslim and non-Muslim friends, that Muhammad wasallam is beyond reproach. He's beyond and mawara. He is certainly out of the circle of insult or denigration. Why? The, see the Quran, Surah al -Ambiya, verse 107, Allah called him and gave him the noble title of Rahmat Lil Alameen. He is the mercy for the worlds, for all nations, for all people, for all creation. What can be a greater honor incurred upon a human being? So, when Allah says this, which person has the audacity and capacity to hurl insults on him? Nothing. <laughs> Think of the sun and the moon. Can you darken them? No, you can't. But Muhammad is much higher than these physical structures. I will invite you to look at Surah Al-Qalam, which is 68. Uh, look at the initial verses, 1, 2, 3, 4. And it is said, the Allah, Allah says this again, an accolade, salutes from no less than God Almighty. Inna kalla ala khuluqin azim. O Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Most certainly, you are stationed at the highest pedestal of honor. You have the highest morals. Is there anyone who can disregard this uh, title from the Almighty Creator of the universe? So again, Muhammad Wasallam is beyond reproach. Look at uh, Surah Al-Araf, Ayah 84, 
and also Surat al uh, verse 16. Allah says in the Quran, Look, this companion, Sahib, of yours has lived, lived amidst, amidst you all his life. Don't you think and reflect? My God, uh, dear friends, brothers and sisters, please think. Such kinds of statements the glorious book is full of. Was there any single person in Makkah, Medina or in the entire Arabia who stood up and said, Oh yes, he lived among us, but uh, he had this fault and that fault. And no, not a single one. Uh, sublime morals he had, yes. Did anyone say? No, we disagree with the respect. Not, not a single person. So, how can someone blaspheme, denigrate, insult, uh, defame the Prophet What a great man he was. Uh, there are many, many incidents. I wish the YouTube could take all of them, but uh, very few examples. One day, the, the great Prophet, he was uh, resting in a small valley under the shade of a tree. A Bedouin came and he raised his sword and said, Muhammad, tell me who can save you from me. He very calmly replied, Allah. The man starts shaking. The sword fell from his hand. Muhammad picked up the sword and said, Now you tell me, who can save you? He said, No one. The Prophet said, Why don't you say what I had said? And that Bedouin said, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. Umm Jamil was a very persecuting lady. He used to live in the neighborhood of the Prophet ﷺ, wife of Abu Lahab. And early morning, she used to bring bushes with thorns and place them on the doorstep of the exalted Prophet. One day when the Prophet ﷺ stepped out, he did not find those bushes. He became concerned. He asked people, how is Umay Jameel? He was told that she was not doing well. Look at this now. The Prophet ﷺ went to her house and asked about her well-being. Can anybody, anybody do that? Dear brothers and sisters, the time forces me to stop right here, inshallah. Very soon I'll continue with a few more little anecdotes, confirmed stories of the history. May Allah bless you. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon you.